Welcome back adventurers to Heaven's Vault and that is exactly where we are. We have found the Heaven's Vault and we are right in the middle of it. So let's find out about this place. There are robots here. Doing what and why? They are mindless, Aliyah Lasra. Aunts. Are they? You're not excited? That there are more? This is a graveyard. It seems pretty much alive to me. What are these? Can go around them. Ooh, what are these? Enki? I don't know what I'm looking at. Nor do I. Though, I'm quite sure that I have been here before. Has she? Oh, I thought that... Ooh. Write it down, then we understand what you're saying. So these things are talking in the old language. But we cannot understand it, we can only read it. And uh, it's weird that she has been here before, because this place should be much older than her, I think. What is it made of? The same as the structure in the Serpent's Eye Crater? I believe so. So. If I understood the timeline right, there was an age of steel, the age of the robots, and they ruled. And she here, our dear empress, overthrew the robots' rule and ended it. No wonder the gravity outside was wrong. This moon is hollow. Yeah, it seems so. Oh, that one went down. Where is it though and what is it doing? They look like batteries. This is incredible. It's like nothing I've ever seen. Like nothing anyone has seen. Hmm. And these are some kind of speakers. There's a ramp downwards. It's a pity that I cannot look down. I can only look up. Walkways over empty space. Are they stable? They have been stable for thousands of years. I mean, it does have a little bit of a tilt, <laughs> so yeah, I don't know about that. Shouldn't she understand the old language? I think so, right? Why is she not translating? This is the mountain. This is the inside of the mountain. We cannot proceed here. But what is it? It's like a palace. It's a generator, uh, like a generator, that we are inside of. But what does it generate? Huh. There in the middle is something like a control panel. If we shut it off, will then everything shut off? The whole nebula? Will this, that be it? The end of the world? Are we the darkness? Are we causing the darkness in the end? Kissy! Wasn't that a ramp? Oh, there is snow here. I missed it. But I want to see what those robots do. Hey there. Huh. They 
don't have personality. robot passed and it still stays there then it has nothing to do with the robots and then it should appear next back there if it just goes round it should appear here now the last robot is passing and nothing happens Where does it go? Or does it just stay there? No, it stays there. Hmm. I'm sure if we go there, th there um, it will appear. Uh, disappear, sorry. And it will appear here. Keeping an eye on it. The robots come back. Still there. Stay where you are. Don't move. I know the robots are on it. I wish I could go faster. Got it. I hope it doesn't, doesn't disappear now. Then we are in trouble. Ooh. Huh. These here don't seem to disappear. 
appear, so I think we're safe here. Oh, there's one of these speakers in the middle. to this whole space. Move aside. She does know the language. Enki? What does she say? Are you remembering something? Goodness, what is that? It's the eagle. Welcome, overseer. Tell me. Do you wish to bolt? That's why it was a verb. Heaven's vault. Uh, you are an eagle. I am the ship. Do you wish to vault? It's talking through you. A recording of the machine. And please answer the question. Do you wish to vault? Who am I talking to? Are are you the seventh god? the ship. Please, Aaliyah. It hurts. How can a robot be hurt? Do you wish to vault? Are you absorbing the rivers? The great darkness? The rivers disappear? Hearing? You are doing it. Sixty six per cent of the core is now recorded. Do you wish to vault? And what happens if I say yes? Does something happen to the nebula? Entropy in is ines inescapable. The rivers will inevitably run dry, but we will be elsewhere. The overseer must answer the question. Do we vault? Maybe I can turn this off? Stop! Entropic loss during recovery has been significant. Further loss will render vaulting impossible. This miserable ship wants your assistance. It is a pathetic supplicant. It believes that allowing the core's energy to simply dissipate will cause great harm. But to vault will also cause harm. It is bound by its ethical core to decide, but it cannot. It is an agony. I find indecision quite disgusting. Then this ends now. I can vault or I can walk away. 
but shut it all down. What happens if I vault? Oh, what happens if I just walk away? Huh. Let's vault. I wish to vault. A vault will leave everyone in the nebula behind. When the rivers fail, they will all be lost. Only we two would escape. But what happens if we don't vault? The rivers fail and all are lost. So it's the same? still don't understand. The rivers are being drained to recover the ship's core energy. The process has taken thousands of years. But the ship still has an ethical core. It can't take the decision to evolve because of the cost. So means we can just go off into space to an unknown location with this huge ship that will train all the rivers dry, leave behind everything, but go to something new and destroy the old, or we leave everything as it is? To recover the ship's energy? Are you saying this ship somehow made the nebula? I believe so, Leah. I believe it vaulted to this location, but intersected on arrival. The result detonation, resulting detonation resulted in the forces that the rivers, of, or resulted in the rivers of the nebula. It has been attempting to recover that ever energy ever since. So this is an alien ship that stranded here. And by losing or by exploding this place, the nebulas got created. And the robots came to be in this world and took over. And then in her age, the age of the Empress, she overthrew the robots. But this ship here has always been here the whole time and tried to fault. And we can now either do it or not. I mean, why do I have to cho choose is simply because you are now here, right? <laughs> I don't want to doom the people in this place, but I'm very nosy. I want to know what happens if I do. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's be reasonable. I want you to shut this place down. Shut it all down. I'm an archaeologist. I've stood in the graves of emperors. I've seen the work of time firsthand. Time destroys every action, every idea. Nothing lasts. Not possessions, not fame, not fear. What was kind becomes monstrous. What was understood is overturned. We do what we do, and then we pass on. What this place was built to do doesn't matter anymore. Release the rivers. All of them. Do it now. I obey, overseer. I'm releasing the core. And now we're leaving.
chandelier. The sky is changing. New rivers are forming. A way home? Thousands of ways. Then let's go. No, Ali Ailasra. I will remain here. As you pointed out, the machine in there is rather old and stupid. But it seems to me there is another way. And I do not think it has reckoned on in Cape first empress of the holy Ioxian Empire. You, sh you two should get along. Yes, Everethian. But perhaps we will meet again. Now the nebula is connected once more. I will hopper you down to the nightingale. Good sailing. Mayar is going to play me for this. I just know she will. Stories don't have tidy beginnings. The past is always present. But the past is just another story. How we tell that story what it means. That's for us to decide. Yes indeed, history is told by its survivors. And this is also why archaeology is important. Not to retell old stories over and over again, but to read in between the lines, to discover long forgotten or even untold stories. We need to remember the past, even if it hurts sometimes. We need to guard the good and the bad and tell it without sugarcoating it, so that we can learn from past mistakes and move on to make things better. We need to keep the greater picture of the past in mind, to not lose ourselves in micro details of our present, so that there is a future worth living and fighting for, and not only for our own very limited existence, but for the many generations to come. But enough serious talk though, back to the game. For me, this was a very unique experience, different from any other game I ever played. I love the idea of exploring the unknown past by learning its language. Also, I had a lot of fun with the translations and I was looking forward to find more pieces of inscriptions to learn more words, to learn more about the past. So it was very well implemented, in my opinion, into the general gameplay. I think also the timeline and tracing of our actions in there is a very good tool. Although I never really used it, but that was rather due to the fact that I thought it might be boring to watch if I had spent too much time browsing through the timeline. There were some things though that I would criticize from the player's perspective. What annoyed me to the point of frustration was that the game was so limiting, so narrowly scripted. One could never revisit interesting places or travel to wherever you wanted. It was always a suggestion by the game and we could only revisit like certain moons that uh, served as a hub, like Ajax for example. Then what also annoyed me was the unbelievable naivety of our protagonist, who is supposed to be an educated woman but had to always rely on her robot to point out the obvious. One cannot really find out or discover anything on your own as a player. Same goes for the objects you find. There's no way to look at them or even an inventory. As an archaeologist, I find the idea of looting and then selling or bartering artifacts for other goods in itself very appalling. So if a game suggests me to do so, then at least let me look at them and choose according to the artifact's cultural value. But uh, that is just me being a history nerd, sorry about that. <laughs> What was also a bit frustrating is the mechanics of translating. 
The side scrolling was terribly confusing with longer texts. It would have been much better to have the whole text on screen, plus a scrollable dictionary at the side with all known words available, not only the suggested ones. I would have loved to access her notebook and dictionary in general, but again, I'm used to translate languages and using an actual dictionary, so that might be just me being a nerd again. All in all, it was a very pleasant and unique experience and I had a lot of fun playing it. Also, I think I missed a lot of options, so there might be a high value in replaying the game, which I will definitely do. Having said that, I will actually play through it again until the point I reach the moon with uh, Heaven's Vault and record from there again to choose the vaulting option and see the alternative ending. So yeah, see you at the other end. Have a great day and goodbye.